Once again, you all recognize me as the master of movie trivia. I dominated the three guys in the first round. And as Sean just said, I'm here. No fear to these guys. I'm not competing this time. All I'm doing is hosting. So let's have a nice clean fight. Keep it above the belt. And may the second best man win. Let's go ahead and introduce our contestants for round two, or for episode two, rather. Anthony, tell us about your channel. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me. I'm Anthony. I run a ch YouTube channel, The Silver Screen Analysis, where it's pretty much like these guys. I'm a big movie nerd, so I do all kinds of movie reviews, top fives and tens lists, uh, throwback movie reviews, and I'm ready to uh, let everybody know that I'm the master of the movie trivia. All right. Let's move on to Matthew. Tell us about your channel. What's going on, guys? My name is Matthew V. Haynes here, uh, AKA The Clockmaster, as some people may know me. Um, I do pretty much a lot of stuff like these guys do, a lot of movie reviews, trailer reactions every now and again, uh, trailer breakdowns and analysis and stuff like that. I probably got a better face when I do reactions than a lot of these other guys here anyway. <laughs> so that will help me out a little bit. I don't know if it'll actually help me out in the movie, <laughs> in the movie a trivia, but we'll see. <laughs> and last, but hopefully not least, time will tell. Ryan, tell us about your channel. What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole here, and my YouTube channel is really easy, Ryan O'Toole, just search that, I do everything these guys do, I do movie reviews, I also do trailer reactions, Blu-ray updates, monthly channel updates as well, and I just love talking about movies, and also I love to fight about movies, like, to be honest, I'm real competitive, and when I first saw this show, I'm really excited to be a part of this, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take these guys down. Now let me also introduce who is going to be helping me doing some scoring and helping me with the time. Coming back after his ass beating from the first round, Jeff, tell us where you're. From. Tell us, tell us about your channel, Jeff. Yeah, I'm Jeff McKee from Jeffito's Movie Blog, and it was a little bit embarrassing the first game. I missed an easy Star Wars question and it threw me off. Um, I do hope I can have a comeback here in a future episode. You guys can find me on JeffitosMovieBlog.com. Here on YouTube and on Facebook at Jeffito's Movie Blog, and on Twitter simply at Jeffito's Blog. I do movie reviews just like the rest of these guys, trailer reaction videos. I also have a fun show where I try to predict the top 10 movies at the box office every weekend. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get right into it with round one. All of these guys have their categories in front of them. The way that round one is going to work is that each of you are going to select a category when your name is called. You're going to answer your question, whether you get it correct or incorrect. Then whenever you, if on the chance that you get it incorrect, you can choose one of your competitors to have a chance to steal that question. And correct answers in round one are worth two points. All right, well, let's start off round one. Let's just go alphabetically for the hell of it. Anthony, what category do you want for your first question? I'm gonna go with 80s. 80s. To what speed does Marty McFly need to reach in order to time travel in Back to the Future? miles per hour that is correct so two points for Anthony Matthew what is your question or your category of choice um, I'm gonna go with Star Wars Star Wars what items did Luke plan on going to get at Tosh station before Uncle Owen tells him to go clean up the droids soda mm. <laughs> that is incorrect. On that one. <laughs> so go ahead and choose your competitor to take the question for you. I'm going to go with Sean. Uh, power converters. That is correct. So that's two points for Sean. Sean, while we got you on the line, let's go ahead and choose your category. Uh, I got to do Van Dam. Van Dam. Got some balls on him. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hard Target is a New Orleans set reimagining of what Richard Connell short story? Uh, the Most Dangerous Game. 
That is correct for two <laughs> points. <laughs> All right, Ryan, go ahead and choose your category of doom. Um, I'm going to choose comic book movies. Comic book movies. According to Man of Steel, how did Jor-El die? He was killed by General Zod. That is correct. And in Man of Steel. That is correct. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll start the second round of questions for round one, and we'll stick with you, Ryan. So go ahead and check your second question from whatever category you choose. I'll choose Star Wars. All right. How many years has o has Yoda been training Jedi? How many years has Yoda been training Jedi? That is the question. Now the answer is... Is that the question? That is the question. Cody, what was the question? I couldn't hear it. How many years has Yoda been training Jedi? And smart, um, smart strategy if you actually just don't know the answer. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna choose thousand years. That is incorrect. Which of your com opponents do you want to take this question? Um, I'll choose Matt. Matt, you need to repeat the question. Um, no, you said how many years Yoda has been uh, training Jedi? That is it. All right, I'm just gonna just take a, take a guess on that and go with 500 years, have no clue. <laughs> that is incorrect. The correct answer is 800 years. Mm. No points are awarded for that question. Sean next, we'll go ahead and go in backwards. So Sean, what is your category for your second question? I'll go action adventure. Action adventure. Name the building in which the original Die Hard takes place. Yakutomi uh, Tower. That is incorrect. Choose your opponent. Give it to Matthew. Oh, again? <laughs> <laughs> um, Burj Khalifa? That, your question? that was the answer? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, I have no clue. <laughs> no. <laughs> The correct answer, you were really close, Sean. Nakatomi Plaza. Naka, na Nakatomi. Uh, did you say ya did you say Yakatomi or Nakatomi? Do you want my honest answer or do you want me to give an answer that'll give me points? Hey, it's your show. It's your your choice. I said Yakatomi. I, want... I said Yakatomi. I said with a Y. <laughs> okay. Nakatomi. Yeah. So very, very close, ah. but Yes. Alright. Matthew. All right. So Choose your second category. I'm going to go with uh, comic book movies. Comic book movies. All right. What year was the first MCU movie released? The Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, that would be the incredible. Um, 2008. That is correct. Two points for Matthew. All right, Anthony. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the uh, 90s movies. 90s movies. What speed could the bus not drop below in 1994's speed? 50 miles per hour. That is correct. Two points for Anthony. All right. That is awesome round one for some of you. Jeff, go ahead and give us an update on everybody's points after round one. All right. After round one, we've got Sean and Anthony with four points each, Ryan and Matthew with two points each. All right. Starting off strong. Round two is going to be very similar to round one, only you're going to be using a pen and paper, and they, everybody is going to participate in each question. So I'm going to go down the line. Each contestant is going to select a category from the list for a question. It's going to be asked the entire group. Contestants will each have, tw or well, everybody will have 20 seconds to write down their answer, and they will present their answers all at the same time. Each correct answer is worth two points, just like round one. So for round two, we'll throw it over to Ryan for the first one. Ryan, go ahead and pick a category for everybody's round two question. Um, I choose Oscar movies. All right, everybody ready? How many Best Director Oscars has Steven Spielberg won? And if you really want to impress me, you can put down what movies he won them for, but you will be awarded zero points for those answers. Seconds. <laughs> Thank you. 
Five seconds. And time. All right. We'll say to Ryan, what's your answer? Two Oscars. Schindler's List and Saving Private Ryan. All right, Sean, what answer do you have? I put two. Matthew, hold your answer up. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong, but hey. <laughs> 17. <laughs> <You're> just, <laughs> we, we, we have a Spielberg fan. <laughs> And I see Anthony with two. All right. Sean, go ahead and give us our second category. Gotta go Van Dam. Ah. Van Dam. Everybody hates you now. I know. <laughs> what what nineteen what nineteen ninety-four film is Jean-Claude Van Damme's highest grossing movie to date? Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. I gotta say that time goes much, much slower when you're not having the right answers. And time. All right, Sean, what do you got? I put time cop. That is correct. Ryan, what do you got? Expendables 2. Incorrect. Matthew, what do you got? So I went ahead and put the uh, the obvious answer. Everyone knows me from this movie, obviously. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is totally like how that was a close second. You not know that? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, what you got? Time cop. All right, we got some Van Damme fans in the house. We, we've got some old people in the house. Yes, yes that is true. Yeah, you, extreme. Well, old. Anthony, since you got that last question right, go ahead and choose our next category. I'm gonna take it back to uh, '80s movies. '80s movies. In the Goonies, a group of kids go on an adventure to find a famed pirate's treasure. Name that pirate. Sean is perplexed. Can you repeat seconds. the question, Cody? In the Goonies, the kids are looking for a famed pirate's treasure. Name the pirate. Five seconds. I don't know the end time. All right. Anthony, what you got? One-eyed Willie. That's a dirty joke. All right. Uh, Sean, what do you got? Blackbeard? No, incorrect. How dare you not know the Goonies? Matthew, what do you got? I would show the most obvious answer too as well. <laughs> Blackbeard. Blackbeard. Hey! Oh man. <laughs> Matthew, go ahead and send us to our final category. All right. Well, I got to go with something I'm familiar with, so I'm going to go with comic book movies. Comic book movies. What is the name of the time stone in Doctor Strange? Can you repeat the question, Cody? What is the name of the time stone in Doctor Strange? The Infinity Stone for Doctor Strange? What is the name of the time stone in Doctor Strange? 15 seconds. Oh. Five seconds. And time. All right, Matthew, what's your answer? I didn't even know the thing had a name. What? The <laughs> 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 I have no clue. Close enough, but no points awarded. <laughs> Anthony, what you got? Total guess, I put Amnesty Stone. That is incorrect. Sean, what do you got? I just went Infinity Stone because I heard the word infinity. That is incorrect. Ryan, what do you got? I have Agamotto. I have Agamotto is correct. Yes, that's it. That is it. That is Two it. points for Ryan. All right. Nicely, nicely done. Yes, very nice. I'm surprised anybody got that one. You guys can thank Durbin for that question. Our top score right now is Anthony with 10 points, followed closely by Sean with 8 points, Ryan has 6 points, and Matthew has 2 points.
Hey, if you can give me 30 seconds before we go into the next round. If you love the Masters of Movie Trivia and you want to help make it possible for me to make future episodes that maybe even you can participate in, here are the two biggest things you can do to help make that happen. The first thing you can do is share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, however you would do that. Make posters, slap them all over the walls at your high school. Okay probably don't want to do that one. But here's the deal. The more videos this gets, the more comments, the more likes, the more I know you actually care about what I'm doing. These take a long time to make. I love doing it and I want you to be involved. So get lots of people to watch this so I can justify putting in the time to do a full season of this where maybe you join us. The second thing you can do is consider supporting me financially on Patreon. Here's the deal. It takes me an enormous amount of time to schedule these, write questions, film, and then edit them. And it also costs me a bit of money for sound, music, and all the swishy transition stuff that I do after effects and so if you would respectfully consider supporting me on patreon that's the single biggest thing you can do to communicate hey we want you to do more of these so if you could be willing to do so consider supporting me with all that said time is up let's get back to the next round so for round three once the question is answered or read you're gonna have 30 seconds to list as many films as possible that you can think of that is relevant to the question and each correct answer on your paper is going to be awarded two points so if everybody is ready the round three question. Name every movie in which Tom Cruise is shown running. No, I'm kidding. That's Come not on. I was about right. to start going <laughs> <on. laughs> I'll just get it. <laughs> yeah, just name Tom Cruise movies. It's easy. <laughs> name as many actors as you can who have portrayed John Connor in the Terminator franchise. The actors? The actors. Who have portrayed John Connor in the Terminator franchise. Fun fact, every single movie is a different John Connor. One of the many problems with the Terminator franchise. 15 seconds. Five seconds. All right, here we go. <sighs> All right. Sean, what do you got? Edward Furlong and Christian Bale. That is two correct answers. Anthony, what do you got? Edward Furlong, Nick Stahl, and Jai Courtney? Two of those are correct answers. You never bring Jai Courtney into this movie trivia so ever. So. All right. <laughs> Ryan, what do you got? Christian Bale and Edward Furlong. There's two correct answers. Matthew, what do you got for me? I have. You can say them out loud. Bale and Edward Furlong. <laughs> John Connor. <laughs> that, all right. Well, unfortunately, at the end of round three, we have our first elimination. Jeff, go ahead and tell us who will be leaving us. Yeah, unfortunately, Matthew, you only scored two points this entire game. Unfortunately, you are not the master of movie trivia today, and you have been eliminated. Matthew, any final words of wisdom as you um, depart us? No more Van Damme questions. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe next time, maybe next time, maybe next time. <laughs> it was fun, though. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, awesome. So give us an update on points there, Jeff. All right, after round three, we've got Anthony still in the lead with 14 points, followed closely by Sean at 12 points. Ryan has 10 points, and of course, Matthew was just eliminated. Still a very close game. So for round four, each contestant is going to be asked a rapid series of randomly selected questions. They're going to have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible, and each correct answer is worth two points. Ryan, we'll kick it off with you. What make is the car time machine in Back to the Future? Skip. Who played the lead character Michael in The Lost Boys? What actor? Skip. Mission Impossible 3 was directed by who? That would be J.J. Abrams. <laughs> That's correct. In Last Action Hero, a cutout in a video store shows which actor portraying the Terminator? <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme? That is incorrect. In Ridley Scott's Alien, what is the name of the ship? We're 
Repeat that, I'm sorry. 15 seconds. In Ridley Scott's Alien, what is the name of the ship? Oh, I haven't seen Alien in a while. Skip. Five seconds. Skip. And time. All right. Well, you got one correct answer. Mission Impossible 3 was directed by J.J. Abrams. The other questions, the car time machine in Back to the Future was a DeLorean. Jason Patrick portrayed Michael in Lost Boys. From Sylvester Speed 2. Sylvester Stallone was the Terminator in Last Action Hero, and the Nostromo was the alien ship in Ridley Scott's Alien. And we're going to move on to Anthony. Anthony, are you ready? I am ready. All right. The Gray pits Liam Neeson and company against a group of what? Wolves. That's correct. In Kick-Ass, what is the superhero name of Aaron Taylor Johnson's character? Bass. Hacksaw Ridge stars Andrew Garfield as what real-life war hero? Desmond Doss. That's correct. In the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, the main characters are headed to see what band in concert? Pass. <laughs> Iron Man takes on the Extremist Project in which Marvel film? Three. Iron Man 3 is correct. The in Kick-Ass, what is the superhero name of Aaron Taylor Johnson's character? Black man. Incorrect. In the Texas Chainsaw remake, the main characters are headed to see what band in concert? The Doobie Brothers. Incorrect. You can go ahead and stop the time there, Jeff. I believe that was two. Yes. Three correct questions. So in Kick-Ass, Aaron Taylor Johnson's superhero name is Kick-Ass. In the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, the main characters are headed to see Leonard Skinner. Oh, hey, the decade was kind of right. Yeah, you were close. All right, so we got six points for Anthony in that round. Sean, are you ready for your questions? All right. Coming to America sees Eddie Murphy travel to what U.S. city to find his bride? New York City. Can be a little okay. Yes, and Goodfellas. What does Billy Bats tell Tommy to go home and get? A bat. Incorrect. In Jeepers Creepers, what does the license plate of the creeper truck say? Jeepers. Incorrect. Her is a science fiction film where Joaquin Phoenix is dating an AI voiced by what actress? Scarlett Johansson. That is correct. Which James Bond film pits James against friend turned enemy 006? Uh, GoldenEye. That is correct. What's our score, Jeff? All right, after round four, Anthony still holds the lead with 20 points, followed by Sean with 18. Ryan has 12 points and unfortunately is eliminated. Ryan! What have you done to me, man? Go ahead and give us some words of wisdom on your way out for that unfortunate round four. Well, today was not my day to be the master of movie trivia, but I'll bet you the next time I will be the master of movie trivia. But seriously, thank you guys for having me on board to do this. I love this idea. I think it's a great way to get other YouTubers involved. And uh, yeah, this one's hard, but yeah. oh well. Sorry for another interruption, but before we find out who the master of movie trivia is, I want to tell you about one more thing, and that is Movie Pass. Movie Pass is the way I go and see all of my movies. Essentially, I pay $45 per month, and I get to see one movie per day in the theaters. So essentially, if you see more than five movies per month, it's worth it because movies cost normally about $10 per movie ticket. Last month I saw nine movies in the theater, that's $90 worth of movies, and I saw them for $45. I'm no genius, but $45 is half of $90, and so it's well worth it. If you are interested, please use the link in the description down below. It does help out my channel if you do use that link. I do apologize for these shameless plugs, but it really does take a long time to edit these videos, and I gotta rationalize it to my wife as to why I'm spending so much time on all this. But I really do use the service. It really is a great deal if you go see five or more movies. If you only go see two movies a month, don't get it. You will be wasting your money. But with that said, let's see who wins. All right, so moving into round five. We got Sean and we got Anthony battling to the death. Now, here we go. 
The rules for the final round is each contestant is going to be asked three questions. First question is that the people who were eliminated, Matthew and Ryan, are going to choose a category. Matthew will choose a category for Anthony and Ryan will choose a category for Sean. And then we're going to move on to one question of our contestants choice. So they get to choose their own category. And then the final question, the opponents are going to choose their own or each other's categories. So there's going to be a little bit of a little bit of strategy demolishing each other in that one. Are you guys ready for the final round? Ready All right. Go. We'll go ahead and give the underdog a little bit of a bone here. Ryan, what is the category that Sean is going to be answering? Um, I'll go remake, reboot. All right. Remake and reboot <laughs> Sean. All right, Sean, you ready? Yep. Who played Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther reboot from 2006? Uh, Steve Martin. That is correct. Matthew, what is the first category for Anthony? For Anthony, I chose he can do 70s movies. 70s oh. movies. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't that old, man. Come on, man. Yeah. I know. <laughs> All right. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. What iconic horror film came out in 1973 that received 10 Academy Award nominations? What horror film Psycho. came out in 1973 that is incorrect? Psycho. Nope. Psycho came out a little bit before the 70s, my friend. All right. Would that be The Exorcist? That would be The Exorcist, Sean. That would be The Exorcist. I need to rewrite the rules so I can get points on these. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I felt the same way whenever I was on my final round. Yeah, I didn't need any extra points, as we all know. <laughs> 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 all right. Now you guys can choose your own categories, so we'll go ahead and stick with Sean. Sean, what is your next category of doom? Uh, good 90s movies. 90s movies. Which movie featured Robert De Niro as a patient and Robin Williams portraying a doctor? Awakening. Awakenings, yes, that is correct. Anthony, what is your category of choice? I'm going to take uh, Van Damme. Van Damme, man. That's confidence. In Bloodsport, Frank Dukes attempt to, attempted to return a stolen item, which results in him being trained for years in the art of ninjutsu. What was that stolen item? Can you repeat the question one more time? In Bloodsport, Frank Dukes attempts to return a stolen item, which results in him being trained for years in the art of ninjutsu. What was that stolen item? And I'm sure Sean is chopping at the bit. A sword. That's correct. A katana. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Anthony, what is the category that Sean may or may not beat you with? I'm going to pick uh, Action Adventure. Action Adventure. You ready, Sean? Cut. You sweating? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the climax of Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior, Max commandeers a tanker which is revealed to be filled with what? Sand. Water. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sand is correct. And there's no way for Anthony to come back, even if he gets the five points on his final question. We have a TKO. Sean is the next <laughs> <laughs> final score. Small disclaimer for those at home, there is no rigging, there is no rigging done whatsoever in the Masters of Movie Trivia. Masters of Movie Trivia have been set forth in very many days. Okay, no more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Woo! All right, man. Go ahead Thank and give you, us, uh, before you get to your arrogant uh, victory <laughs> speech, let me go ahead and give Anthony a chance to give us some words of wisdom on his way out. Hey, I just want to say, Sean, thanks for having me. Uh, I love what you're putting together here. It's only going to get better. Uh, I didn't think I was going to start my comeback tour so soon, but that's what I got to do. Uh, you earned it. 
Awesome stuff. All right, Sean, go ahead, run your mouth. So, I mean, I always knew I was the master of movie trivia. I just wanted to bring some of you guys along so that I could assert my dominance on my path to you, Cody, to take you down, to demonstrate not just to you, but to the world who the actual, true master of movie trivia is, and it is going to be this guy right here, Sean Chandler. You're going down in the next episode, Cody. It's happening. Just keep in mind, everybody, if I do, in fact, lose in the next episode, Sean himself is the one who edits these videos, so let's just keep that in mind. Uh, beyond all of that, I'm ready for you. How much time do you need, Sean? <laughs> That's a good question. I know. Quite a while, actually. <laughs> Uh, these really take a long time to edit, so uh, we'll see what sure. happens. Yeah. All right, well, congratulations, Sean. I'll see you in the third episode, I'm sure. Go ahead and get some rest, eat a nice protein-filled meal, and we'll see you there. And we're going to give one last shout-out to all of our contestants. You guys are awesome today. Let me go ahead and start off with Anthony. Anthony, where can we find you on YouTube? Go ahead and check me out at SilverStreetAnalysis.com or on Twitter at your Cinema Guy. Awesome. Matthew, where can we find you at? You can find me on youtube.com slash Matthew V. Haynes or just Matthew Haynes in the YouTube search bar. Ryan, where can we find you? You can find me on YouTube at Ryan O'Toole. You can find me on Twitter at hashtag Ryan O'Toole MR and on Facebook at Ryan O'Toole Movies. Awesome. And my trusty assistant, Jeff, where can we find you? You guys can find me here on YouTube at Chafito's Movie Blog and on Twitter simply at Chafito's Blog. And Sean, we know where to find you because we're watching you right now. You, you can go ahead and speak You're one more time. You're here right now. <laughs> yeah, in making this episode, two people were extremely important behind the scenes, and that's Durbin, who competed in our last episode, as well as Tyler Tompkins, who competed in our last episode. Up on the screen, you can see where you can like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff for their videos. Huge thank you to them so much for all that they were able to do on this episode behind the scenes. They wish they could have been here, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, they decided to do other things. Durbin was pursuing money instead of being a part of this important show. And nobody knows what Tyler's doing. He's just slacking off right now. But all you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, if you can look over there in that corner which says subscribe, if you'd consider clicking that subscribe button. We do a lot of videos like this over here as well as I do a lot of movie reviews, trailer reactions, talk about the movie news from time to time. But really, I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you. So please join me in the comment section. Go to all these guys channels like subscribe all that fun stuff and as always thank you for watching <laughs>